Hey everyone, this is Max with MT Packs and appreciate you checking out this video. This is my second PSA reveal, second order I've ever uh, submitted uh, for grading cards. Um, this was back in July um, uh, for the PSA's um, collector special, monthly special for $15 a card. Um, and I sent 35 cards in. And uh, yeah, so the first card uh, to be revealed is a 2022 Bowman's Best uh, Bryson Stott Atomic Refractor. Um, he's been uh, doing really well, and it came back at 10, so very happy about that. And I'm sure a collector would want to have that, especially a Phillies collector. Next uh, card up is a, uh, another Bowman's Best uh, from 2022, Zach Nito. And it's a blue refractor out of 150. And um, the card looked pretty good, but it came back a nine. I think there were one or two uh, very minor surface flaws. I think there was a roller line or uh, very small scratches on the surface, I think. Um, so, uh, but overall, pretty happy with a nine. I, I'm not going to complain about nines. Uh, I submitted all these cards with the expectation that they would get nine or better. Um, so this card is a uh, 2021 Bowman's Best Bobby Wood Jr. And uh, this is a Masterpieces Refractor, and it got a 10. I think this card is beautiful. I like the artistic aspect to it. Um, and I think they're pretty, pretty rare in a, in a 10. Uh, so very happy with this card, and uh, it's a card of a really good player. Uh, next up is uh, not the most expensive card. Uh, it's a uh, Raphael Devers um, Bright Futures from the 2022 Tops and Juan Soto Collaborative set, and it got a 10. Uh, again, very affordable cards, and this is more just of a uh, kind of a PC item. Um, really like this set, and I uh, like the tropical theme. And I know there are a lot of Boston Red Sox fans, so I'm sure someone will want to have that card. This is a 2023 Bowman, Christopher Morell, Sky Blue, um, and I believe Sky Blues are out of $4.99, and this got a mint nine. These, this is a paper card, so the uh, corners are very, very susceptible to having uh, whitening on them or you know any edge chipping. And I think there were one or two of those corners were uh, a little bit of whitening on them, so not surprised it came back at nine. Uh, the next card up is a 2018 Bowman's Best, uh, Logan Gilbert. And he's having a pretty good year with the uh, Seattle Mariners. Um, it's a uh, base auto, and it got a 10. So very happy about that. I know pitcher cards don't uh, tend to be super popular, but I feel like he's uh, he's a pretty, pretty good one right now, and I think someone would like to have that card. Uh, another card I submitted, another Bowman's Best from 2022. This is the base auto of Zach Nito. And um, again, these, these cards, especially from 22 Bowman's Best, were, were pretty hard and um, pretty susceptible to getting scratches or little surface uh, um, flaws. So again, a nine I'm happy with. The... Uh, Next card up is a 2018 Panini Donruss Optic uh, rookie card of Raphael Devers, and it got a 10. And these cards are, you know, again, they, they can scratch pretty easily, um, so very thrilled that got a 10. Um, again, hard, hard cards to, to gem up. Next up is another 2022 Tops and Juan Soto collaborative card of Beau Bichette. And again, uh, not the most expensive card, but I'm very glad uh, these are getting 10s. Um, good value, and uh, yeah, I, I like the way they look. Next up is a 2022 Bowman Chrome Sapphire of Bobby Witt Jr., his rookie card, rookie Sapphire. Um, again, playing very, very well. These cards are also can be can be tough to gem. Uh, you know, have surfaces, uh, surface flaws, etc. 
um, and got a 10. So very, very happy about, about this one. This is a very sought after card, rookie card of his. So um, yeah, very happy that got a 10. And uh, next up is the 2023 Top Series 1 uh, Josh Smith uh, rookie autograph in the 1988 uh, style. And um, this got a 10. So very happy about that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, I'm not sure how, how tough those are to gem out. But um, I think that one was one of the first uh, 10s to be graded of, of that particular card. This is a uh, 2018 Panini Donruss Optic uh, Tomas Nito, and um, and maybe I'm saying his first name wrong, but Thomas Nito. Uh, this is a red refractor. It got a nine. Uh, again, these optic cards are very tough to gem. Um, just the slightest little nick uh, will get you uh, a nine. It is out of 50, which is nice, um, and on card. So, yeah, that was just a card I had uh, that I had pulled and wanted a grade so i'm not sure if that will sell well or not but um yeah anyways this is a 2021 tops chrome ryan mountcastle uh in the 86 style uh rookie card refractor and it got a 10. so again not the most expensive card but pretty uh, nice card for any ryan mountcastle fans out there this is a 2022 bowman's best uh boba Shett in the green um mini diamond refractor and it got a 10. And I, I believe this is, is or was a pop one when I, when I got this back. I don't know if it still is, but it's out of 99 and a pretty, pretty uh, flashy card. And uh, yeah, glad I got a 10. And this is a 2018 Bowman's Best of uh, Jose Canseco. And uh, this is a pretty cool one. You don't see this card very often. And I got a 10. It's the uh, Atomic Refractor. So any uh, old school uh, fans of Jose Canseco uh, would really like that, really like that card. It's a really pretty card. Um, next up is a 20, uh, 2019 Panini Donruss Optic of Michael Kopech. And... Uh, and yeah, it's just a, another uh, atomic refractor here. Actually, a cracked ice refractor. It's a little different. Um, you know, Tops Tops calls them. Uh, Tops has them as atomic. Panini has them as cracked ice. Anyway, nice uh, green low numbered out of seven uh, green uh, rookie card there. So um, yeah, one out of seven. So got a nine. Uh, I think there was a surface issue or, or uh, scratch, but um, nice looking card, very low numbered. And next up is a 2019 Topps Chrome Dansby Swanson. Uh, this is the orange wave refractor out of 25, and it got a 10. So, um, you know, I think he's, he's uh, kind of a fan favorite, and he's now with the Cubs. Um, but, you know, I think uh, it's, a, it's a nice low numbered card of his. Uh, not rookie or anything, but cool photo. And, uh, yeah, maybe a Swansby uh, collector would like to have that one. Next up is a 2020 uh, Bowman Chrome Nick Lodolo. Dawn of Glory insert, Atomic Refractor. And, um, yeah, this, this is a nice card. Very, very beautiful. Um, it did get a 9. Uh, and I think it's out of, numbered out of 125. And next up is a 2020 Topps Chrome Nico Horner. I think I'm saying that, uh, I'm saying this name wrong. Uh, this got a nine. This is an on-card auto of his um, Sapphire rookie card. And uh, yeah, got a nine. I th again, I think, you know, a lot of these uh, very minor surface issues probably. Next up is a another 2023 Top Series one, uh, 86, um, or I'm sorry, 88 Tops uh, Tops baseball uh, style rookie autograph of Nick Prado. That got a 10. 
so very nice there. And this is a 2020 Topps Chrome uh, of Gavin Lux Sapphire and a rookie card, and this got a 10. So very nice card. And next up is another Bowman's Best from uh, 2019. This is Elo Jimenez, rookie card, uh, Atomic, and it got a 10. And uh, this card is a 2020 Topps Chrome Logan Webb, uh, blue wave refractor out of uh, 150, and this got a 9. I did see a couple uh, of roller lines on the front. And this is a 2019 Bowman Chrome Garrett Whitlock, uh, Bowman First Auto base, uh, and it got a 10. And this is a 2020 Topps Chrome uh, Sapphire uh, Nico Horner. Uh, from Topps Chrome Update, uh, Rookie, and this is a sticker auto. Uh, update has sticker autos, and, and, I, and regular Topps Chrome has on card, at least in this particular year. Uh, and this is a 2022 Topps, uh, Topps Gilded collection of George Springer. Um, I just went ahead and graded this card. I know it's not a rookie card or anything like that, but all these Gilded cards are numbered. This one's out of 99, and it got a 9. And next up, we have another Gilded, uh, 2020 Tops Gilded in the Mini Diamond Refractor of John Smoltz. And this also got a 9. And, also, and this is out of, numbered out of 50. The, the Mini Diamond Refractors are out of 50. And this is uh, a 2022 Tops Chrome Ryan Mountcastle Prism Refractor. It gemmed out. Very pretty card, uh, not the most valuable, but it is a uh, rookie cup card of Mount Castles. So uh, I'm sure, you know, the Orioles are on fire right now. So I'm sure an Orioles fan uh, would love to have that card. And speaking of the Orioles, this is a color match, orange, uh, 2022 tops uh, of uh, Zach Lothar. And um, yeah, I love the color match and looked good to me and it got a 10. So very happy about that. And this is out of 299. Next up is a, another gilded, and this one's a throwback to Ty Cobb Mini Diamond, and this gemmed out. This is a really nice card. Uh, love the old image of Ty Cobb there. It's numbered out of 50 and a gem mint 10. Um, you know, I really uh, out of out of the three uh, gilded cards you see here, uh, the Ty Cobb is the one I wanted to gem the most. So I'm really glad that did. Next up is 2023 Top Series 1, uh, Miguel Cabrera in the uh, green. It's interesting they put this as green foil, and in the other one they labeled it as orange foil board. Uh, they're exactly the same from what I can tell. Um, so, you know, if, if you know why, uh, please comment in the comment section what the difference is. I actually flagged this one for PSA. Uh, saying, hey, <laughs> you put foil instead of for foil board, but they came back saying, nope, foil's right. So I, I, I just don't know why they're different. Um, but anyways, uh, glad that one got a 10. And this is a 2021 Bowman Chrome of William Contreras uh, in the yellow refractor out of 75. This one got a 9. I think that one was a centering issue, slightly off-center. And this one is a 2018 Bowman's Best uh, of Grayson Rodriguez uh, as a prospect, and that also got a 9. It's a green refractor out of 99. And next up is a 2023 Topps Brett, uh, Brett Beatty Rainbow Foil. I just threw this into the collection. Um, this gemmed out, thankfully. Um, I know he got sent back down, but we'll see if he ever comes back to the majors and, and hits better. 
And then also a, uh, the live, very last card is a 2019 Bowman's Best of Brett Beatty, Mint 9. And this is his Bowman's Best Auto Refractor. Overall, very happy. Uh, as you can see here, more 10s than 9s. So uh, that's what I'm shooting for. I think it was a 60% uh, gem rate. Um, and, yep, very happy with that. Thanks for watching.